All right, my man, state your name. Let them know you on Nicavelli TV. Hey, what's going on? My name is June. You, know you on Nicavelli TV? That's right, Nicavelli TV. Nick fan? And Nick fan since 77. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And um, hopefully we got a good year this year. We got some good players. We got Obi topping. How you feel about Obi? I feel pretty good about Obi, man. Just got to work on his D, but his upside is is, is definitely definitely something to work with we got a bunch of young boys now hopefully they can start meshing get it together and maybe so do you think a... ob toppins and rj barrett is gonna connect well i think they are i think you know because um we got a power forward position in ob we got um rj at least doing the shooting guard maybe small forward where he can switch over sometimes but i think they could pair really well with mitchell at the you know maybe mitchell at the center you know what I'm saying? We can get it going. All we need is a good point guard right now. We got a couple of good point guards, but you know what I'm saying? We got Dennis Smith Jr. Yeah, we got... Um, Frank Nilakina. Frank, and we got... Um, Alfred on. Payton. Alfred Payton. Oh, yeah, Alfred. They brought Alfred back, right? Yeah. Um, now, why do you think they brought Alfred Payton back, man? Um, to be honest, you think he they was did pretty that? good. He was pretty good. Even but do when you he played think... with Orlando, he was good. So, you know, I think that he played himself into a role last season. You know what I'm saying? It's just that they couldn't keep his contract, so they let him go and bring him back for something less. You know what I'm saying? Which is smart with Leon Rose. Of course, they're smart people. You know, shout out to uh, World Wide West and Leon Rose for trying to get this team together in the Knicks, man. Hopefully, we'd be something to talk about, you know what I'm saying, in the near future. But um, who I you see think, good things. Who do you think sure. is going to start at the point guard? Uh, I think Alfred Payton is probably, between Alfred Payton and Dennis Smith Jr., is a toss-up because Frank has been there a couple of years. He hasn't really progressed the way he should have. You know what I'm saying? He's a good defender, but as far as scoring and stuff like that, you know, I think it should be between Alfred Payton and, and Dennis Smith Jr. for sure. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Starting point guards. But um, yeah. yeah, that's what I think for sure. You know what I mean? But <laughs> I think I feel good about this team going. I think we may grab the AC right now, how it's looking, because, you know, the East is not really like the West. Yeah. But um, I think the AFC to be a good spot for him. Man. And was you disappointed not grabbing Chris Paul as a point guard? To be honest, I wanted Chris Paul when he was on the market a couple years ago and we didn't get him. You know what I'm saying? So um, I think that, I mean, you know what? Money-wise, we did a good thing because we saved still a lot of money on the cap. We got rid of a lot of we didn't need. Right. But um, I feel good where we at right now, man. Even without a vet being here, I think that who we got – you know, who we picked up, Nerlens Noel, Noel is good, you know, a good backup for Mitch, even somebody that can teach him a couple of things. You know what I'm right. saying? And the talk of Alonzo Ball, possibly. Huh. Well, How you feel about that? I mean, I like him, but I'm not going to say he's somebody that we definitely we probably needed, for sure, for sure. But, you know, he's an all right player, but I don't think we – we needed them like that, you know what I'm saying? We need somebody, we actually need somebody with some shooting skills. That's what we needed, somebody who can stretch the floor. Give it, and that's where, you know. So you're not high on Alonzo Ball I, with but that? I'm high on Austin. I'm high on the Austin pick, you know what I'm saying? Because he can shoot. Right. And he, he can definitely, you know, dish the ball out. He's not somebody that plays selfishly, you know what I'm saying? That's what we need. We need somebody Un that can unselfish get. Unselfish player. That's right. We need somebody who can get OB in a pick and roll situation. Dish him the ball. He's better when he's inside. He's more powerful when he's... He reminds me of a younger Amari Stoudemire. You know what I'm saying? When Amari was here or when Amari was coming Well, that's up, what they're saying about Obi Toppin. That's what I'm saying. Well, uh, with Obi, he's a little bit more, to me, athletic than Amari was. You know what I'm saying? He just got to work on his jump a little bit. And we'd be good to go, man. We'd be good to go? Yeah. So, should we start Frank Nilakina, man? Some oh, people man. say that Frank Nilakina is explosive on the defensive end. That's why he's still in talks. Is he worth holding on to, man? You know what? I, I think they see something in him as far as our front office now. And um, I think he was worth holding on to only because he's long. You know what I'm saying? He got a long wingspan. He could defend pretty good. It's his scoring that needs to come along. You know what I mean? But you got Dennis Smith Jr. and you got Alfred Payton for that. You got Austin Rivers. So, you know, we could mesh well. Right. I think we need him more defensively because you know, as you know, defense wins championships, man. We don't, we can't stop nobody. We ain't going nowhere. Okay. That's just how it is. And last but not least, your boy Kevin Knox. Ah, uh, Kevin. Well, I like Kevin. I like Kevin. They've been with Kevin now what two years? Yeah. So, I say maybe like another year. This is the year where we need to incorporate and see what we're gonna do between him and Mitch, because 
you know, see what's going on between him and Mitch. Now we got Obi in the mix. So is that going to reduce his time? Make him come off the bench? Maybe that's going to light a fire on them and make him be like, let me get myself together. You know what I mean? So, but I like Knox, though. Personally, I do like him. He's a good kid. You know okay, what I'm and the Chevy on the top. See the Knicks going to the playoffs? Uh, I, I, I see him at least grabbing the AFC. AFC. You know we got that. a lot of young boys from Kentucky, and you know, even the coaches talk praise on these boys. You know what I'm saying? Right. It says that this is what we need. We need to get rid of that old mentality, man, and get these new young boys in here, get some fresh talent, and trust me. Talent gonna want to come here after that. You All right, and I mean? Cherry on the top. Do you think Tom Thibodeau is gonna run these kids the way they need to be run? First of all, Tom Thibodeau is a defensive-minded coach. You know what I'm saying? So if you ain't playing defense, he gonna let you know. You gotta get it together. You want playing Tom? You want to get on the court? You want some of this Tom? You want this man to take your place? Then let's show me what you got, and that's what he does. You know what I'm saying? And with that being said, you heard it from my man, Harlem Knight. June Bug. June Bug it is. That's right. That's what Nick it is. Nick fan baby. for life. That's right, baby. And you already know. And we out. Peace.